what's going off Shaw Lakes Ridge here and uh, I'm out of my favorite local lake again today and uh, you know this has been the main producing lake for this season and uh, what's pretty cool is we've got like crystal clear ice all across the entire lake which three days ago was all covered in snow but uh, then we had like a really strange warm day, it got like 60 degrees and it rained like nonstop. So we actually lost about like, I think like five inches. We had almost a foot. So we still got plenty of safe ice, but uh, the only difference now is that it's clear. So hopefully we can uh, put in a few hours, do some damage and hopefully, and hopefully catch uh, some nice chunky largemouth. Nice little pick. Yeah. Not bad. A lot of people kill them, but I don't like to. Yeah, there's a lot of bones in them. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm just walking over here. I'm gonna check out and see if those turtles are still there. Are they still there? Um, there's a bigger one there today. There's a bigger one? Oh, yeah. Damn, we're gonna check them out. So yesterday I was here just trying to, uh, you know, walk around the lake and see if the ice was still safe. And uh, Alan over there, he was the one with the uh, pick roll. He uh, was fishing here yesterday and he saw some massive snapping turtles up in this shallow water and I'm trying to find them because it was pretty awesome you know you, you could see them right under the ice like really massive snapping turtles there's a little paint turtle right down there I don't know if you guys could see this is like the turtle hanging oh my gosh there's another one right there here we go look at this look at this massive snapping turtle right there just chilling under the ice but this one just sitting there I thought there was like three here yesterday we should try and catch snapping turtles through the ice we could probably like chisel out about a, you know, 25 inch, 30 inch hole and we probably get them out. That's crazy. Maybe we'll come back and check in a little bit later. Maybe there'll be a couple more here once like the water warms up in the shallower area. All right, so I drilled about like eight to 10 holes, kind of like in a rectangle along this drop off here. And uh, we're gonna start off with my light jigging rod and just the small little soft plastic. And uh, yeah, we're gonna bounce around to these holes real quick with this little soft plastic, try and see if we can get some of these aggressive largemouth first, and then maybe we'll switch it up if this doesn't end up producing anything or it doesn't end up producing um, you know much fish or it produces like one or two and then nothing then we'll switch it up oh instant fish coming up for it oh the fish chased it too there he is got him fish chased it right up as soon as it dropped down there oh no a pickerel snot nose pickerel no way that sucks cut me off right there that's why we try not want to try and avoid pickerel. All right, we're gonna switch it up, and I don't want to, but we're gonna use the isopology because that was what was working really well last time we were here. We were catching them pretty good, and I'm just tipping this jig on the center treble hooks with some of this Berkeley Gulp live waxies. Oh, really nice mark on the screen. There's one. Oh, heavy fish. Oh no, this is how they break you off right here. Oh, hooked them right in the nose too. Oh man, I can't even pull them up right now. I wouldn't mind if he just fell off really. I just don't want him breaking me off. Look at him right there. Oh, whew, fat one. 
And that's the way you gotta hook pickerel or pike or musky when you're using six pound test. You gotta hook them right in the nose. Nice chunk, nice and fat. All right, one fish down, not what we're really after, but had to get our hands wet eventually. Oh, that fish crushed it like immediately. Really heavy fish too. I hope this is a chunky largemouth. Oh my gosh, looks like a tank. Oh yeah, man, not bad, it looks so much bigger through the ice. Nice chunk though. Heck yeah. That's how we do it. Look how deep he ate that ice apology. He wanted it, man. He wanted it. Good way to start off the day for sure. Whew. Nice fish like that. Sixteen incher. Awesome. All right, let's drop back down there. That's usually key right there. Once you find one, there's going to be a couple more of his buddies sitting close by. Oh, another big mark. There he is. That's what I'm talking about. Once you find the concentration, that's where these fish are going to be. Oh gosh. Yeah, no, nah, the fish are the fish are like right on the bottom. Really? <laughs> awesome. Where'd you get pizza from? Oh, just from Joe's. I gotcha. Awesome, thanks bro. Yeah, no problem, man. I'm gonna be needing another one. Alright, cool. <laughs> Filming, fishing, and eating pizza. <laughs> Maybe now that I'm eating pizza, I'll catch a big one. While I'm jigging. Oh. Oh, another decent mark on the screen. There he is. Got him. Up you come, buddy. Little one. Oh yeah, man. Solid hit right there. And he cut me off. Ah. All right, back in action. I put on a little Northland tackle, a little forage minnow with two of the Berkeley Gulp waxies on the little treble hook. We're gonna try this. This might be the hot ticket, or you know, I mean, it's a little cheaper than losing an ice apology, I can tell you that much. Come on, fish. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh. Definitely a pickerel. No, oh, get up here. Okay. Not a bad fish. See, that's the good thing about using a spoon is you can hook them right in the nose. And with the ice or polo jig, there's like too much of a chance that they can get it down deep or they can eat it in a weird way and they can easily cut it off. Nice pickerel. There he is. Good one. 
really heavy fish here. Chased it up. Come on, be a bass. Really heavy. Okay. Whew, got him. All right, so we're piecing out from this lake. And uh, it was a decent bite, kind of tough. Kind of a pain with uh, all the pickerel we caught today. But uh, still pretty cool to see those turtles. And uh, yesterday, around this same time, I actually went to Lake Apacon to try and get on some dusk walleye. And uh, it's around like 10 or five to five right now. So what I was thinking is we're gonna pack up the car real quick and uh, we're gonna you know, zip over to Lake Apacong and try and do the same thing I did yesterday evening. Fish like 15, 20, 30 minutes just before dark and uh, see if we can catch a walleye. But uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna include it in this video, so if I catch a walleye, you'll see it, but if, if I don't catch a walleye, you won't see it. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching most of the video. And never forget, live to fish, fish to live. Ice, ice turtles.